Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to try to cut this pattern. It's heart shaped, but it's not a true heart. It doesn't have that little indentation at the top. I couldn't find a public domain pattern that had that little indentation, that little concave indentation at the top. But this pattern is in the public domain and it looks fairly simple. So I think it's uh, something that most people should be able to follow if you can follow along with this video. All right, let's get cracking. I've dopped up some pink tourmaline on this uh, top with some two-part epoxy. This pattern is the cube illusion heart and it has that cube pattern in the very center of the stone on the table. In this case, I've used the clear two-part epoxy and I'd recommend letting the epoxy set up at least overnight. So I've roughed in the first six facets with the 100 grit lap, which is the first and only time I'm gonna use that lap in this project. Here are the same six facets recut with the 600 grit. And I'll finally cut in all the facets with the 1200 grit. I went over all the facets again with the 3000 grit lap, both the pavilion and all the girdle facets. Level the girdle and we're ready for a polish. All right, polishing's done. I used Lindy A on a bat lap. The bat laps are a tin lap. And that combination of Lindy A on tin or Lindy A on a bat lap for tourmaline, I think is pretty standard and it always gives me great results. Okay, from here, we're gonna transfer the stone and start cutting the crown. To cut the crown, first we go over all the facets with a 600 grit lap and then all over them again with the 3000 grit lap. And that sequence pretty much gets you to the point where you can just go straight into polishing. So I did make one mistake here and I'm pointing it out. I didn't change the angle when I cut this uh, one facet. Uh, I didn't fix it here, but I fixed it during the polishing step. So you can see that the, the defect is still there, but when I polish them, I use the fine adjust to polish out uh, that imperfection. So maybe I'll do another video on how to do that uh, later on if there are any requests. All right, so here's an example of a time when I really don't really want to polish uh, this feature. So this is the, the cube in the very center of the stone. And you can see that this is unpolished. And I'm, I was very sorely tempted at this point not to polish this and just leave the, the cube unpolished. And maybe I'll do that in another stone. But for this one, because it was a demonstration, I thought, ah, oh, let's just go and get to the end. So, but it is kind of cool, right? You can see the, uh, the illusion of the cube Anyway, next time. Okay, uh, here she is with the last three facets polished. That just about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna leave you with some footage of the stone after I've taken it off the dob. All right, see you next time.